Welcome to this lesson on factoring by grouping. Grouping is a method of factoring when a polynomial has four terms. So the first thing we're going to do is factor out the GCF from the first two terms. So I'm just looking at these two. 12x squared plus 2x. So I want to find the GCF. So the GCF of 12 and 2 would be 2. The GCF of x squared and x, remember you take the smaller of the two exponents, so that would be x to the first power, or just x. And then you divide to see what you have left in parentheses. So 12x squared divided by 2x, that's 6x. And then 2x divided by 2x, that's 1. So that's step one. Step two is to factor out the GCF from the second two terms. So I'm going to do the same thing with these two. All right, now if you have negatives, go ahead and factor that out. So I'm going to factor out a negative five. I can't factor out a variable because there's no common variables. Only the first term has an X, the second one does not. So let's see what we have left here. Negative 30x divided by negative 5, that's positive 6x. Negative 5 divided by negative 5, that's positive 1. All right, and then the last step, if you notice, you have the same thing in the parentheses for both, and that should always happen. That's how you know you did it correctly. So I'm going to write that first. And then I'm going to write what I have left, the GCF for both, in the second parentheses. And remember, we can always distribute back to make sure we did it correctly. So let's see, 12x squared minus 30x minus 2x plus 5. And then let's see. Looks like that works. Now it's a little bit different than the beginning one because I factored out that negative. So these both change signs, but I have the same terms. So that is correct. All right, let's try another one. So I'm going to factor out the GCF here. Let's see, that would be x. And then I have 2x plus 1 left. And then I'm going to factor out the GCF here. That would be 4. And then I have 2x plus 1. Notice I have the same thing in both parentheses. That's what I want to happen. So my final answer is this. There's no sign in front of it. It's understood to be a positive, so positive 4. That's your answer. All right, number 2. So my GCF of 2x squared and negative 14x would be, let's see, 2 and then x to the first power. So I have x minus 7 left. And then on my second one, let's see, I can just um, factor out a 4. So I have x minus 7 left. So x minus 7 and 2x plus 4. All right, number 3. Let's see, I can factor out 5 is the GCF of the coefficients. And then my variables, remember, I want the smallest exponent, so x. So I'm going to have 3x left plus 1. And then here, 3x plus 1. There is no GCF there. If there is no GCF, just factor out a 1, which gives you the same thing in parentheses, but you want to have that 1 as a placeholder. So my answer would be 3x plus 1 and 5x plus 1. All right, pause the video and try four, five, and six by yourself. All right, let's see how we did. So number four, I can factor out a two X squared. So I have X minus eight left. And then I can factor out, let's see, 10, we'll go into both of those. So I have X minus eight left. 
x minus 8 and 2x squared plus 10. Once you get that first parentheses done, that'll help you with factoring the second one, as long as you took the GCF out correctly. All right, number five, 6x cubed and 16x squared. Let's see, two will go into those. I don't think any number greater than that will, so two and then x squared. I want the smaller of the two variables. So I have 3x minus 8, and then 21x and 56. Let's see, they're both divisible by 7. So 3x minus 8. So here is my final answer. And it doesn't matter which order. I could have written it like this. And remember, that means the same thing. Just like 3 times 5 is the same thing as 5 times 3. Same thing, commutative property. All right, and then the last one, let's see. Um, I can take out an x squared. So I'll have x minus 9 left. And then I can take out a 6, so x minus 9. So x minus 9 and x squared plus 6. Okay, you can go ahead and stop the video and complete your practice.